Hello everyone, this is David. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Hanukkah, which is the Jewish Festival of Lights, which starts on July the 7th and is an eight day feast. And uh, during the video, I want to talk about, um, about what it is that the Jews remember at Hanukkah. But before we do that, I want to have a look at John chapter 10 verses 22 to 24 and this is what it says now it was the feast of dedication in jerusalem and it was winter jesus walked in the temple in solomon's porch then the jews surrounded him and said to him how long do you keep us in doubt if you are the christ Tell us plainly. We'll come back to that particular conversation later in the video. As you can see, I have my menorah in the background. I am standing in solidarity with our Jewish brothers and sisters in this video because of what happened on October the 7th, the terrible events in Israel. This year's Hanukkah uh, is of special significance to them and to us as Christians. And we'll get to that uh, later in the video. So what is Hanukkah about? Well, in 168 BC, Antiochus Epiphanes IV, who was the king of the Seleucids, which was part of the Greek Empire, uh, it was the Syrian part of the Greek Empire, invaded Judea, that's Israel, and outlawed the Jewish religion, the Judaism and all their sacrifices, the temple sacrifices were brought to a halt. And even worse than that, he ordered the Jews to worship the Greek gods. And even worse than that, later, in that same year, his soldiers marched into Jerusalem, massacring hundreds of people. And in 167 BC, he personally entered the second temple, which was built under the governorship of Zerubbabel, and desecrated it by erecting an altar to Zeus. And even worse than that, sacrificing pigs within the temple wards, the sacred space of the temple. Now, this was a terrible, terrible insult to the Jews. And of course, they couldn't let that go. So led by the Jewish priest, Mathasius and his five sons, a large scale rebellion broke out against Antiochus IV and the Seleucids. Now, unfortunately, Matthias died in 166 BC and his son, Judah, known as Judah Maccabee, which means the hammer, he took over the rebellion. And within two years, that is 165 BC, the Jews had successfully driven out the Seleucids from Jerusalem. But because the temple had been desecrated and profaned, they needed time to clean it and rededicate it to the Lord. And this is where we get the, the story of the miracle of the oil from. All the uh, jars of oil in the temple had been smashed or um, tampered with, apart from one, one jar of oil, and it was only enough for one day. So anyway, they decided to use this, this jar of oil anyway, and the miracle was, now, of course, there's, we cannot uh, say for certain this actually happened because it's an apocryphal story in the book of Maccabees. This one jar of oil lasted for eight days. In fact, it lasted for long enough for the Jews to make fresh oil to keep their, their menorahs lit. Menorahs being candlesticks, similar to what I've got behind the seven-branched um, candlestick, uh, although in Jerusalem today I believe they use 
nine branched candlesticks. So this is the festival, it's known as the festival of, of, of the lights, in that it was a miracle that God did in keeping one day's worth of um, oil uh, uh, enough or multiplied it for the eight days necessary um, for when they made uh, a, a fresh batch of oil. Now, this this feast or this celebration of Hanukkah ha was going on in in Jesus's time, and this is what we read in John chapter John chapter ten, uh, the feast of dedication, which was also known as Hanukkah. It's no coincidence that Jesus was in the temple at Hanukkah. In the book of Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter twenty, verse nine, we read, "If disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before this temple, and in your presence, for your name is in this temple, and cry out to you in our affliction, and you will hear and save." Praise God. Before we go any further, I just want to say what the importance of the idea of light is in in Judaism uh, and in any religion. Actually, the idea of light is um, understanding, it's purity, it's the the presence of God. It's the idea of truth. Truth is so important in 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 today's in today's world and of course there's a lot of misinformation regarding the October 7th um, attacks in Israel by Hamas we've seen unbelievable incredible amounts of support for Hamas it's just unbelievable to any right-minded way of thinking but of course we've seen tremendous outpouring of support for the Jewish people in their time of trouble and this it has been unprecedented in certainly in my lifetime I would say in living memory in most people's lifetime so the idea of truth and light and justice is in Jesus Christ himself and it is no coincidence that he was at Hanukkah and the conversation goes like this the Jews said how long do you keep us in doubt if you are the Christ tell us plainly and Jesus answered them and said I told you and you do not believe the works that I do in my father's name they bear witness of me but you do not believe because you are not of my sheep as I said to you my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. Now it has to be said that, that Jesus, that God himself does have a heart for the Jewish people. They are the chosen people there's there's no question about it there's no no doubt about it and i as a gentile am indebted to 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 the jewish people because it was them that 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 brought forth the scriptures the old testament and the messiah himself and it was them that god um outworked his plan of salvation with jesus christ being the fulfillment of the plan of salvation and um he is the light of the world, as we read in the book of John. He is, he is our only hope in this dark world. And he is, I have to say this, uh, the Jewish people's only hope. He is the Jewish Messiah, first and foremost. He came to save the Jews, first of all. And it's only uh, in the grace and the... Um, 
the uh, providence of God that I as a Gentile am able to enter the kingdom of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you're not a Jew, then you have the same access as I have. We need to have um, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, repentance for our sin, to have to be justified, that is made right with God, to have our sins forgiven. And that is really what why Jesus was at the Feast of Hanukkah. He is light itself. He is truth. He is the way, the life and the truth. And all of us need to come to that saving knowledge of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ particularly the Jewish people, the, the Jews are still looking for hope, for, for light in the darkness. They, the, the Jewish leaders missed, they, they missed the fact that Christ was their Messiah the first time they came. And that's what's thrown the door open to 2,000 years of church history, that God has opened the door to you and I, if we're not Jews, to, to be part of the kingdom of God. But it's important that... Uh, we do pray for the Jewish people because they are still God's people and they are suffering and they will continue to suffer uh, for the foreseeable future until until the fullness of all the Gentiles has come into the kingdom of God. And then God will close the door on, to the Gentiles and his salvation program for the Gentiles will be finished and his attention will turn then to the Jews and all of Israel will be saved. They'll all come to the saving knowledge of um, Jesus Christ as their Messiah. But there is going to be a few problems ahead. So if you're a believer, pray for the Jewish people. Firstly, pray that God will open their eyes. He, Yes, he has saved them from their enemies. And they're still a nation and they're still a people, but their enemies surround them but the only salvation they're going to have is not the idf wonderful as they are the most moral ethical army in history i would say their 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 only hope is to turn to jesus christ as their lord and messiah as as our only hope is so i want to thank you for joining me uh this time in this video Let's remember our Jewish brothers as they are searching, still searching for the light, for, for the truth. And let's pray that they will find the light and the truth. That is Jesus Christ himself. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye bye.